started. Ah, uh, Jim Jacket from the UK. Starts off with D4. Okay, let's try one of these D4, D5 openings. C4. So the Slav defense. Aha. Playing it with knight f3, so I can't do my one hour gambit. And um, developing both knights. So let's take the pawn, see how he reacts to that. Yeah, that's the main move. Now, getting the bishop outside the pawn chain. And uh, playing here. And this pawn move, this pawn to uh, <clears throat> a4 here, has uh, loosened the square b4, so it allows me to place a piece on it. It was played in order to slow down uh, b5 and prevent me from holding onto the pawn which I could have tried to hold on to it anyway. That's another way to play. Okay, um, just castle here, I think. Mm -hmm, he's going after the bishop. And now, um, okay, I, he's got the bishop here now, and uh, I have maybe gained a little bit in development. But I've also got a, a messed up pawn structure here. So, um, where should I put the queen? Maybe over here. I want to get off of this file so I'm not, uh, so this knight is not pinned. Now, can I play um, c5? Maybe I need to <clears throat> get this rook over here first. Okay, now he is threatening to uh, play pawn to um, e5 and win the knight. I could try the move e5 here. e5, pawn takes, knight takes is okay, I think. And if he advances, I can take. Hmm, maybe that wasn't so great. Well, this knight, knight takes, knight takes, bishop takes, pawn takes. That's all well defended, so I can move my queen somewhere else. He's got his knight coming into uh, c7 as a threat. So I was thinking queen c5. Hits the bishop. Um, defends the uh, c7 check and attacks his knight. And now it's useful to have the rook here supporting the e-pawn. If there's an exchange here, the queen's attacking the pawn, but uh, I'm defending it. And this knight might get pulled away by an exchange on f6, so I can't rely on the defense of the knight. <laughs> okay, you could just play... Um, b3 there defending the bishop or rook to uh, c1 interesting way to play so i'm going to take because I, I need to get rid of this threat of knight to c7 and then if the bishop takes i'm going to have to uh, move my queen again but uh yeah, these things happen now where's the best square for the queen over here maybe on um and b3, where I'm defending the uh, b6, where I'm defending the pawn on b7. Now maybe rook to uh, c8 to kind of alleviate some of the pressure over here. Oh, he's piling up on, uh, on the f-pawn, which is pinned. So I can play knight here. Let's... Uh, Relieve some of the congestion. If he takes, I take with a pawn. It's defended by the queen. Mm 
I can also put some pressure on his f2 pawn with bishop to c5. What else is going on here? Probably I want to get, get my rook into the game. Rook here to c8. <clears throat> Maybe trade off a pair of rooks. Try and get grab control of one of these files. Oh, he's going after my queen, okay. Uh, well, when the bishop moves this knight, I don't have to defend anymore, so I can... Um, play here. And if I do that, um, that'll drop the B pawn, huh? Okay, let's think about it. I mean, I'm also threatening his A pawn, so I have pluses and minuses. Queen here, and bishop takes B7, rook to... Um, Rook to b8, bishop goes back, maybe even defending the a file here, The um, defending the a pawn. Hmm. Okay, well, I can try holding onto the pawn for a bit longer, see, see what he plays. He's going with the rook. Ah, well that's interesting, the rook... Um, Ah, no, no, that's no good. The bishop here is, is going to... Uh, the bishop there is going to fork my queen and my rook. <laughs> Very unfortunate. Very unfortunate. And uh, and when he takes my rook, I'm going to lose the bishop, too. Okay, before I give up, uh, maybe I can counterattack his rook. So bishop takes rook, queen takes rook. But I have a feeling this is all over. He's He's got uh, too many threats here. Mm, yeah, he probably should have just kept generating threats, like bring another rook down, that kind of thing. Now the bishop is hanging. All he's won is a pawn here. And the only stable square for the bishop is back here on um, on d5. I'll probably just take it off if he goes to d5. Okay, so he goes after the queen. Eh, logical. Just looking for any other counterattacking moves. I think I'm just going back here and hitting the A pawn again. His bishop is still under attack. Ah, but now his bishop can go to uh, c6. So this rook, rook c1 move secured the c6 square for his bishop. Yeah, I'm wondering which file I should go to. Maybe this file. Hitting the B-pawn. Although it's not clear it'll, if it'll be safe for me to take the B-pawn <laughs> because my king is a bit uh, a bit precarious there. Still, if I can take it, I will. Okay, so he defended it anyway. Um, so what's an idea here? Maybe rook to... Um, rook to b4 hits these two pawns. This one's defended. That one would be hanging. He could play uh, f3 to defend it. Mm -hmm. I think instead, maybe I will <clears throat> try and get my bishop to um, get 
get my bishop to b6. Force this trade. Yeah, he noticed the weakness of his e-pawn, so he secured it, but it opened up this uh, diagonal to his king. Now, he doesn't have to take. He could play another move. On I'll, I'll just take his bishop then. Um, but that would also hang the b-pawn. If I take his bishop, queen takes, then bishop, rook takes. Rook takes b2 as possible. Check. Or this way, it looks like I get the b-pawn too. So, so his advantage has mostly disappeared at this point. I still slightly better just because of my um, pawns here, and my knight is not a great piece here. It's blocked in by these pawns. But uh, I think I should grab the grab the pawn while I can. And if he uh, trades queens, it gets rid of the mating threats on the back rank, but it, it does allow him maybe to penetrate with his rook, and uh, that might be a bit annoying too. Okay, so he just went there and defended the queen. So I'm not uh, anxious to trade queens here, actually. I want to keep material on. So let's maneuver the queen a bit. And uh, I want to activate my knight. The rook is here where it can um, protect the back rank and can penetrate uh, given the chance. I always have the idea of pushing this pawn to open up the B file. Um, yeah, he can go after my seventh rank. That's definitely a dangerous possibility. So knight here, the rook moves. Knight here, hitting the bishop. Let's try this. Pawn is defended. Rook can't go. He could go here to. Um, yeah, but if the rook goes to e7, it might get trapped because I have queen here. Oh, it can be supported by the um, bishop there. I forgot about that. Okay, so I have a check back here. It's not especially what I want. Ah, I'm losing this, this pawn. <clears throat> On the other hand, when he takes that pawn, I'll get to play knight to... Uh, Knight to uh, d6, which is a move I want to play. You know, it's tough to hold on to everything, but probably I should have come back along this diagonal here or here. Here. Here would have still, queen to um, c5 would have still supported knight to d6 and kept an eye on the pawn. Probably would have been better. So Rick takes a7, knight c6. He could just move the bishop. Yeah, he's gone that way. Still, I need to need to play that move. I've got to do something. So where can the bishop go? These guys are all in dark squares. <laughs> One advantage <laughs> when your opponent just has a bishop uh, and your your minor piece is a knight. He's, he's limited to the light squares. So you can put your pieces on dark squares, and uh, as long as they've got, as long as they've got places to go. Ah, so he's attacking on. Um, he is attacking on f7. 
So I can't take the bishop right away. Or can I? So knight takes, queen takes, ah, no, no, that leads to a mate. Okay, there's rook here. Rook takes, knight takes. Okay, rook here, defending. <clears throat> Let's see where he puts his bishop now. Hmm, pretty tense game. Let's see. I, I'm thinking about getting to the back rank, but uh, he's got those entry points covered. My knight is a little bit closer than it was, but <clears throat> mostly I want to just trade it for his uh, bishop, which is annoying, especially if I can maybe get a get a pawn out of it. Between the bishop and the queen, he's like got my knight corralled anyway. I can't seem to find squares for it. And these pawns, these pawns prevented the knight from getting in. Really, I need to get to this square here. The e4 square would be a good square for the knight. And then that would have some influence on his camp. But uh, And it would be a solid position, but it, it looks hard to get there. That's, that's the challenging part is how do I get there? Okay, so now there is a check. Okay, so if I place the queen here with check first, check first, he could either move the king or move the queen. Mm -hmm -hmm. Well, let's bring the uh, rook back here. The queen actually wasn't threatening anything. <laughs> and. Uh, I want to uh, try and win a pawn back if I can. Uh, well, if he wants to settle for a draw here, I would be okay with that. It might be, uh, yeah, he's he's got better than a draw, so it's probably not advisable for him to settle for a draw. Okay, so now I can grab the uh, bishop. And then after that, I can give the check, or I can give the check first, and then grab the bishop. So check, king will go up. Take, you can take with the pawn. Check. I still can't um, bring my rook here because I need to defend this square. <laughs> yeah, he can take with either the pawn or the queen. And uh, let's see, his king, to run away from the checks, needs to go to the square g3, which I could check from here. This pawn is loose. This pawn is adequately defended for now. And then this passed pawn is a real danger. And my opponent is getting short on time. Well, it's a tough, tough position. Ooh, he didn't just take it. <laughs> why Why didn't he just take it? Um, so I guess because uh, I was thinking I could check here and win the pawn, but I can't check here. The queen's covering that. Check. I can check there. I guess king g3. There's no check with the knight, huh? Okay, so let's unpin the knight and maybe grab this pawn here. Oh, but he can take with the queen. 
or the pawn. Oh, he could have done that before. He could have done that before. Okay, I'm just kind of setting myself up. Ah, oh, yeah, I let this pawn drop. <laughs> I let this pawn drop. I was setting myself up for a check here. Check. And uh, this is still protected. Yeah, he's really got everything covered here. My last hope is getting a pawn on uh, G4 here. <laughs> G5, and then queen to uh, H4 is checkmate. Uh, I need to defend against the mate myself. And uh, if he plays a move like G3, then I have more checks. Check. So, uh, is it possible to, uh, hmm, yeah, I don't see it. Check. <clears throat> yeah, so I was going to grab this pawn over here and then maybe bring my queen in. Well, I can just take that. Check. Huh, and I can do this. Check. And this. Check. Check. Uh, let's see, is this just a perpetual here? Check. Yeah, I'll give him a draw if he wants a draw. Check. Because Check. Uh, he really was better. Check. Draw. Game on. Draw. Okay, uh, well, that was an interesting game. I will take a look at this in postmortem and uh, see you guys later. Bye.